It's hard to imagine what a mom or dad goes through when they lose a child, especially in such a devastating way. These nine and 10 year old children, just two days away from summer break when they were brutally murdered. This morning, we're hearing more about who they were and what made them smile. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer, live in Uvalde. Brooke, good morning. Adrian, good morning. This story is incredibly heartbreaking, of course, especially too when you realize this was supposed to have been the last day of school at Robb Elementary. So many of the victims, young kids, excited for summer. These are some of the faces of the 19 kids shot and killed at their elementary school in Texas. Kids anxiously waiting for summer vacation like 10 year old Xavier Lopez. His grandmother called him the life of the party. He was simply looking forward to a summer of swimming. Xavier died alongside many of his fourth grade classmates, like 10 year old Eliana Garcia. She was very happy and very outgoing. Loved to dance and sing and play sports. She was big into family, enjoyed being with the family. She sounded like a good girl. She was. <laughs> she was very sweet. Also among the victims are two fourth grade teachers, Irma Garcia and Eva Mirales, each with kids of their own. Mirales' daughter posted this picture on Twitter, writing a letter to her mom calling her a hero who jumped in front of her students. She wrote, my heart will forever be broken. My best friend, my twin, was taken from me. Mirales' friend said this on News Nation Prime. I would describe her as a, a warrior. Um, she she lived up to that to the end. One of the things that I, that I um, We'll always remember Eva by was her smile. Anne Marie Garza was another one of the children shot and killed. Her family said the gunman walked in and said, You're all going to die. Ten year old Anne Marie had a cell phone. Her family said she was gunned down as she tried to call 911. And those teachers being remembered as heroes this morning. Again, the daughter of one of those teachers saying that she jumped in front of her kids to try and save them when the shooting started. Another note here, as we've been saying, it was getting towards the end of the school year. So there were award ceremonies. There was actually a ceremony that day, just hours before the shooting. Some parents were even here at the school. They watched their kids get awards for the honor roll or for perfect attendance. Some of these victims getting those awards just hours before they were shot and killed at their elementary school. Adrian, you know, Brooke, I heard a story, Xavier, uh, one of the young men who had made honor roll, these smiling, beaming pictures of this sweet little boy. And just to know that his mom had been on campus to watch him receive that honor. And she didn't know that was the last time that she was going to see her son. Yeah. Yeah. His story is actually one that keeps standing out to me because his mom was here just hours before the shooting. You know, she gave him a hug. She said, I love you no idea that that would be the last time she hugged her little boy. And the fact too, it just really reminds you these are kids. He was 10 years old. You know, his family says what he was looking forward to was a summer of swimming. And now he obviously won't get that chance. Just heartbreaking. Yeah, so many pictures on social media sharing a little bit more about these children and their classroom. Thank you so much, Brooke.